love and you don't know what love looks like, it has the opportunity for you to know what it looks like and know what it is. Your relationship might be at a critical state where all you do is cast judgment on one another. But I challenge you for 30 days, at least, to respond out of the attributes of love and see how it will turn for the better. See how everything that they want is right before them. Because you're expressing it. Sometimes people don't know what they want. Until it's right in front of them. And then when it's right in front of them. They question the validity of its existence. And you have to trust. You have to trust life. You have to trust the laws of attraction. You wanted to see what love looks like so bad that love made itself known to you. So as you know what love is, after seeing what it's not, You appreciate it a lot more. Because you can master what a bad guy looks like. But that doesn't mean it paints the picture of what a good guy looks like. And so that is with love. What it's not versus what it is. Once you see what it is. It paints the picture and makes you appreciate it a lot more. Love makes allotment for faults. People will do things to disappoint you and let you down and hurt you. Does that mean that it's love? No. Does that mean they stop loving you? No. And as devastating as pain might feel, it is not the all-encompassing existence of love. Pain can be present. And that person still love you but there are so many different variables to consider that person might be in a bad place in their life they might have a limited scope on what love is it could be so many variables but when you know what it looks like you walk in the direction of it Because the the world has a perverted image of what love is. And you'll find yourself walking according to that perverted image. And miss what love really is. And get misused and hurt and abused. And then you turn and you say, "I I hate love. But you can't be like that. You cannot be like that when you look at what love really is. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Love does not take joy in evil. That means bad things might happen to you. It does not. And it's chances that People that love you 
don't know what it looks like to walk in love and be an ever-present force of love in your life. And that's where boundaries come in. Because once you know what love looks like, you set the boundaries for all the relationships around you. And I will talk about the different levels of love. However, right now, just dialoguing with boundaries itself. When you know what a healthy picture of love looks like, your boundaries are set. And when love is now on the scene, your boundaries are a little more stricter than usual. And that's normal because you have to guard your heart above everybody else. And so it comes a point when you know what the picture of love looks like. And if your experience is contrary to that picture, it's your responsibility to disengage Create a stringent boundaries that benefit you. That benefit you because you know what it looks like. You know what it looks like. You know what it looks like. And when you know what a picture looks like, regardless what people say or do to pervert it, that picture is still that picture. It's just like walking outside, and I used this before. If the sky is blue and everybody knows it's blue, but that one person come out and says it's purple and they over you and shouting and standing over you and saying it's purple, I said it's purple. It's your responsibility, your responsibility to discredit their declarations. That's not what love looks like. Because when it looks a certain way and it feels a certain way, it is love. People can say many definitions of love, but love has a clear, clean definition. And not to dabble on it a lot, but I have to say it. Love is God. And you cannot say you know God and you separate yourself from people if God is love. And I'm not talking about, well, boundaries and everybody being your friend. I'm not saying everybody need to be your friend. But you should be able to walk in love and connect with people of all walks and If there's an area where you're cold at, you know to label that area that's not where love is. And when you label that area as that, you look at what love is and you're challenged and you're compelled to work on that area for yourself just to be a better person. Like I always tell y'all, you ever growing, you're ever being. Sometimes you have to step outside of yourself in spite of what you feel and be, be loving to people. They say when people are at their most unloving state is when they leave, need love the most. And it's true. Because we are dysfunctional people that relate in such a dysfunctional way. A wife could come home and she really want time to be spent with her husband. But she focuses on the chores, hollering and screaming. When she really just wanted some type of conversation to bridge the silence, to stay connected. But instead of saying that, like, I want to be connected, babe. I want to 
I want to be around you tonight. I want to be held. Instead of her saying it, she says it her out of her dysfunction of what she's been trained or what she has seen in relationships that is so contrary to love. You must muster the energy, the desire to walk in love. So if you want to experience love more, be the love that you want to experience. And laws of attraction will attract you to love. It's just how life works. It's just how life works. You look at what it is. You embrace what it is. And you embrace those that are expressing out of what it is. And those that are not, it's your responsibility to build boundaries. So you're not walking around saying love is pain or love is this, love is that. Now you're just making up stuff. This is an adult world. Playtime is over. You no longer operate like a child. You no longer think like a child. Once you know, then you are challenged and compelled to Think like an adult and respond like an adult. A resp- adult don't play tit for tat. Adults don't do that. The more they learn, they grow, the more they become better. People in connecting with the those they love. And those that will come across in their path. Walk in love. Now you know what love is. You don't have to question, wonder, ponder, or think. Love has clear-cut attributes. So I hope everybody underneath the sound of my voice, they experience love and are in a loving state. And if you're not, my hope is that you get to a loving state by walking in love and attracting that love that you are. This is ER, Emotional Response. Life Coaching with Ink, Irie, closing out this Tuesday. Till Thursday as we dive in more deeper on what love is. Have a good night and a good work week. ER Emotional Response Podcast.